I would like to play first. Yeah, I guess we, we're gonna... We will end up drawing a Merfolk. We can even protect our shit. <laughs> I mean, it's not ideal. But I guess we could draw a curse catcher here. At least we don't have to discard. Oh, I should have missed up that. A bit. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I, I guess I didn't. Even though we are super aggressive, I'd rather not miss up that. Almost everyone thinks I'm gonna win. Oh, talk about pressure. Pressure under pressure. I bought these apples two days ago and they taste like... Ugh. You know how, how when you bite into an apple and it feels like sawdust? That's how it tastes like. And I hate throwing away like food, but I also hate like eating sawdust. No, I'm not gonna play Narod yet. I want to put on my pressure. I will probably play Nairob next turn though. Banana never has faith in me. That's okay. Cracking Fetchland. Yes. Play more islands. It would be insane if, like, if island gave all of your creatures plus one plus one for every lord you have. Like every island your opponent has gives like prompts your creature. It's like a code. It's like a one-sided code of arms for islands. Gash gash. Well, gushing against the aggressive deck. On yeah. I mean, if it's the only thing you have available. I guess it, it, it makes a mana. Repeal? No! I guess it's okay. I wouldn't hate Phantasmal Imaging, so we're gonna adapt here, but I also wanna draw like Acceleration. I wanna draw Mox Sapphire. I wanna draw Mox Sapphire right now. He should not have replayed the island because of Iron Rock. He discarded Flusterstorm and Forceful. Why? Oh, because of discard. End of turn discard. <laughs> this guy. Oh no, that's not. Oh, he could counter that. Targeting himself, yeah, yeah. Top, nah. Land, maybe? Wasteland, oh, sweet! Next turn, isn't he? he? Takes five down to eight. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This deck is the nuts. 
Um, so I can see playing another Nairot here. I can see playing the Flusterstorm. Maybe Mindbreak Trap. But, but he showed us white. I think all of the dedicated Gush Storm decks don't play white, right? So could he be like Chess Kite, Stoneblade, and he just had an offer draw? But he showed us top, they don't play. Oh, actually, they do play top because top is insane with uh, Mentor. Yeah, I would also think it's Mentor. So I guess we want this then. Not this, not this. Uh, don't need those thrusters then. No other reason? Okay. So, I actually watched Nightsman, and I thought that joke, the joke in the end was hilarious, and then I later found out that people were actually offended by it, like seriously. There was a joke about butt sex in the end, so what? I wonder whether he sides out Force of Earth. I've never seen a mentor like that run balance. Yeah, I guess that's how I'm gonna play out. Five color restricted card deck. Yeah, that's the perfect zone, right? <laughs> oh, I want to force a that. Well, it could be Bomber Man. You got the preordain. Secretly Neo? <laughs> I'm not following any color of rabbits. Actually, oh fuck, when I was a child we actually had a white rabbit. It was an albino, albino rabbit, so it had super red eyes and it was like snow white and we called it Schneeflocke, which is German for snowflake. And then it died of cancer and the cancer actually came out of his, one of its eyes. That's what I remember about Snowflake. I really like that. Animal. Uh, rabbit. I'm not even sure if Ancestor in here is right, but we might draw Force of her. Yes, I do, Bouncing Skirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the whole point of playing Magic Online is to become better, like, it's not about winning on Magic Online. It's about making mistakes so you won't repeat them when it really matters in paper. But I would agree that I made some very embarrassing mistakes yesterday. Oh, is Force of Hurling? No! I can't Mental Mr. Force of Force of Pitch Force of Okay. I, I really I really think playing on Magic Online is about making mistakes. I, I said that a lot. Like in, when I was learning Elves in 2013, I was making so many mistakes. Like 
some super embarrassing mistakes. Mistakes worse than you could ever imagine. And that, that you can't imagine make, me making a lot of mistakes, I guess. And every time I made one of those super embarrassing mistakes, I can promise you I never ever repeated one of those mistakes in paper. And that's pretty cool. Mistake number one, using Modo, I guess that's uh, like as as Frodo saying, mistake number one, leaving leaving the Shire. <laughs> hmm. He doesn't have another land. I mean, he's gonna see some more cards, but I'm just gonna hope he won't see more cards that would matter. Also, this is one of our few chances that we get to strip mine without the danger of, of him having... Actually, I could have sacrificed it, I guess. Uh, of him having Gush. Oh, wait! I hit Mess... I had metal mystic. <laughs> I'm a very good magic player. I'm waiting for for the other one mana spell to resolve. <laughs> I know that I don't gain life, but I think the one point of life is less important than having one more, one more card in the graveyard for treasure cruise later on. You like not misstepping there, so okay. No, oh, it's a lucky land. Time walk. Not time walking yet. What is there any card that you could play? Like you could mana leak, I guess. Or spell snare? He wouldn't spell snare. Brainstorm? Oh yeah. Okay, I like brainstorming. Uh, killing the brainstorm here. It's still not very good. Because end of turn brainstorm with chase and play is like really not super exciting anyway, I guess. Okay, and now at least he's out of cards. Now we can go for our glorious Lord of Atlantis into time block plan. And then we will draw another Lord and then kill Chase, and that will be, to will be totally unexpected. I've seen people do that before Tefra's response. We had that on Star City Games like a couple of weeks ago or a month. Where somebody was le legitimately playing Tefra's response and Legacy. Well, uh, there goes out of cards. Chase is text, but Chase is the kind of card that we ignore with this deck, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty masterful play all, all about it. Insane with this board. I really want to see somebody respawn on the board. Like, how are we ever gonna ever use port again if your opponent has like access to Teferi's response? Uh, but waifu, you probably don't understand. He he wastelanded one of our Wattage's lands. 
And then he was trying to stifle a different fetch land, so he would trade two for two. But instead... Oh, oh fuck, you don't have... That was the, but instead, he traded like... Wasteland, plus stifle, plus losing one of his own lands for just mental misstep. Eh, uh, for just... Misdirection plus pitch. Oh, he thought he, he wasted and then fetched, okay, uh, and started the fetch, okay. You know, if you think about Stone Rain, like, we sometimes, when, when I was back in school, we had discussions about... What happened to our... Oh, strip mine. We had discussions about... Yeah, let's just conceive this way, not this. About how you could force a foil or counter spell a land drop, and if you think about it, Stone Rain is kind of like a force of foil on lands at sorcery speed. See? <laughs> uh, mentor. Mentor, chase, and other stuff. hand here. Oh fuck, library. I guess we're not playing to beat library anyways. That's why I'm saying at sorcery speed, because they still get to use it once. Yeah, exactly. Like, library is not the card that we are fighting anyways. Does anyone if you guys know whether these these decks play um These decks play any kind of mess removal. Like, I would be surprised, but I guess you never know. Uh, 
Uh, repeal. Lol. Seriously? I think I might actually watch it further though. I mean I could sacrifice it I guess. That's less damage. The damage is really important. I mean curse catching would curse catching would be pretty good because it doesn't have to draw a creature a uh, card. But the thing is, we really need like the additional two power, like we really do. But things that matter. I think Reaper very much matters. I, th I think he doesn't even have things that matter. Like we are pretty much only goldfishing here, anyways. Do we want to draw a card? He actually has a discard. Oh no, he doesn't have to. No, that first. I don't want him to draw a card, but I think it's... Uh, <sighs> no, that's okay. Our, our beta is more important than just a random card. really terrible. Like, I found it to be a really hard matchup with most of the decks that I played. Because Oath is pretty easy to fight, but if you want to fight Oath and show and tell, it becomes hard. Catcher into this member. Play Mentor and nothing else. Hank, okay. Hank, move to this card. Time Vault. Okay. You might die at some point. I didn't expect this deck to have Time Vault. Like, maybe it's not a match. Actually, it is a matter like we know that. Ha! <laughs> look what we drew! I'm gonna play this first so we can protect the egg. Force of her, Force of her. How many forces has he used? He's used one force yet. It's not super exciting. Now he's dead to two swings of just the lords, so I might curse catch others. I mean, it gives uh, him an out of having just another metal master. That's okay. Please resolve. I mean, it's not like we are we are really drawing towards anything here, except for actually maybe Wasteland might even be the best draw. But he can still... no, still not. No, still Wasteland also doesn't get there. He has got like key, activate key. But maybe he has to like two turf or something. Okay, force pitch. He's pitching dick through time here. Look at his graveyard. He is pitching dick through time here. He could like next turn double blue, dick through time, find key, kill us. So that tells me that he really has key by now. Skip your turn, put a counter on the key, uh, on the board. Mm. 
Not as cobra. That's what I just told you, but thanks for stating the obvious. <laughs> oh, Tinker. Let Tinker pit kill the mox, get the key. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna let him play it out like for or I'm gonna let him play out like three or four turns and then I'm gonna concede. <laughs> 